Uh, what a lovely day out in, in Greenfield today. You got that nice September breeze. You got the, the it is blowing like uh, some water from the ocean. So it's nice and cool. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I love it. And I'd probably be heading out to the beach or, uh, you know, going around outside if I weren't so caught up right now. I have blog clan to deal with, that's one thing, Maple Kit's inside with Hershey, um, but then I also have to like find a way to get CPS off of me because they are coming to take uh, Campbell out of my care and uh, take her to my uh, grandparents house and my grandma and yeah that'll probably be best for her but I'm gonna be so lonely here without Campbell and I can step up the game, I mean it was one incident, and hey, that wasn't my fault. That was whoever placed those... Actually, no, it was my fault because we shouldn't have gone into an explosive area. Now they did put danger signs out. Yep. Okay, you know what? You know what? No. I'm not doing this. I am not going to sulk around and feel bad for myself, Maple Kid. That's not what I'm going to do. I am going to, to do something. You know what I'm going to do? I have no idea. Um, what could I do? I could try to, uh, take extra care of Campbell when they CPS comes, but I guess a lot of parents probably do that. Um, let's see, I could probably, I could talk it over with them. Well, no, because they're coming to talk, but, um, uh, Maple Kid, I think there's only one thing to do, and I've been, I didn't want to say it, I didn't want to put the idea out there, but I think I'm going to have to go and find my parents like they went missing okay I tell everyone that they left on business which they did but the thing is they never came back from business they they left about a year ago and it was supposed to be a week-long trip and they didn't come back from it so yeah I need to go find my parents maple kit so what's the first thing I need to I need to look for some some sort of sign as to where they went they left in the middle of the night I know that for sure um, but like where? Where would they have gone? We're all sleeping and I think, did they go to the airport or something? You know what? There is a drawer in here in the kitchen and it has uh, some stuff in it uh, that has to uh, do with uh, like paperwork and stuff from school and our parents usually shoved a lot of stuff in there. So let's see if there's anything in here. Let's see. Uh, a lot of books, so a map, that might work or be worth looking at. Uh, we got a clipboard, an atlas, no, I don't think an atlas. It, whoa, 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 what's this say? Uber driver number? Did they take an Uber, wait, aren't Uber drivers those like people like, they're like taxi drivers, but they use their own cars, right? Yeah, let, hmm, Uber driver number, I'll have to check on that. Let's see, a clipboard, mm, nothing on the clipboard. I can use it to take notes though on what I find. Uh, let's see a map. Hmm. It's of the beach. Yeah, I can recognize the the lighthouse. And there's a lot of uh, a lot of people out there, a lot of their uh, towels and stuff, but like what does this have to do for anything? I think the Uber driver number is what I need to focus on. Alright, so I need to call this. Let, let's come down here on the couch with May May. Uh, hi, Maisie. I'm just going to call uh, the, this, this Uber driver. Alright, let's put in the digits into my phone. Alright, oh, oh, it's calling. Okay, shh, shh. Uh, no. Yes, is uh, this uh, the Uber driver? Yeah, what's well, it to you? Well, uh, my name's Camden Anderson, and I kind of need a ride. Oh, okay, a ride. Yeah, I got that for you. Uh, where do you need to go? Mm, it's mm, the top secret. Or, you know, I'll tell you when we get there, all right? All right, as long as you pay me, I'm fine. How much will it pay? Hmm, it depends on the drive, so... If you're going somewhere pretty far, I better get a pretty good deal, you know? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Um, but, yeah, where where should we meet? Ugh, Chinatown would be best for me. Uh, what about you? Mm, Chinatown, yeah, that's not too far from where I'm at. Yeah, I can meet you there. Alrighty, but uh, tonight, how about 6 o'clock? Is that good for you? Yep, that, that sounds good. Alright, see you there. Alright, bye. Huh. 
he kind of sounded a little like thuggy like I don't know he didn't seem like you should trust him very much so I don't know should, should I trust him you know what I need to see him first I mean don't judge a book by its cover but you know just most people it's pretty easy to judge by their cover so yeah I'm not gonna go uh, ride with him I just need uh, information from him that that's the only way I want to get him out there so yeah let's head on out to the uh, to Chinatown Alright, let's cross this street here. Chinatown is just down the road. Oh, the hospital. Campbell's in there. Oh, I want to see if I can find a room from here. You know, it's one of those fun little things. Uh, let's see. Can I find... Uh, oh, I think I kind of see... Yeah, because it was... Yeah, it's right there. That room. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's she's up there. Should I, should I go visit her? Uh, what's, what's the time? Oh, no, I, I gotta get to this guy. He's gonna leave without me if I don't. Uh, I'll check on her on the way back home, but let's see. Um, Chinatown. This is like a shady part of town, but it's also the mo most uh, cultural, I guess I could say. Um, so yeah, it's pretty fun to go down here, but sometimes you can get ripped off in prices and stuff like that. But, alright, which of these guys is, is an Uber driver? Um, let's just look at some of these stores too, uh, Chinese apartments and store, um, no, that's not gonna help. Is there like an Uber driver? No, wait, wait this is just a meeting spot, there's not actually gonna be a business here, right? Yeah, barber shop. yeah, no, there's not gonna, oh, either that guy's just super creepy or he's an Uber driver. Uh, yeah, I think that's him. Alright, um, yeah, let's just go up to him, at casual can then, alright. <laughs> oh, hi there. Uh, are you the Uber driver? Yeah, I'm an Uber driver. But what you want, kid? Ah, my name's Kevin. Yeah, uh, I am uh, here. You're gonna be uh, taking me somewhere, remember? Oh, you're Kevin, eh? All right. Fine. Where Where do you need me to take you? Uh, uh, okay. About that. Um, I don't need to go anywhere. I just wanted to ask you a few questions, you know. Uh, I have these parents in my... Well, you know, everyone has parents. But, uh, my parents a while back, they, uh, kind of went missing. And I just wanted to know, the last time I saw them, they were with you. And I just wanted to, uh, to know if, like, do you know where you dropped them off? Maybe? What? Information? You're not getting anything from me? I'm out of here. Did you see that? He just bolted around the corner. He for sure knows something's up right now. I, oh my gosh, can I go after him? Oh, he is like thuggiest of the thugs. He is, oh, he's long gone. Oh, what am I gonna do? Wait, his car's still here. So even though he left in that direction, he's gonna have to come back for it. But, he also wants to lead me off his trail so he can go that way, round around Chinatown. Okay, so if I'm fast enough, I might be able to find him. Alright, let's see if I can cut down this way. Um, Alright, so he's gonna have to come back to his car. That, that's good to know. Alright, let's come down here. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is he uh, around the corner? No, I don't see anything. Alright, let's, let's come down this way. You know what? I need to do a sneaky approach. He does not want me coming. So can I go behind this alleyway here? Oh yes, I did. Okay, but I need to get out of the cobwebs. Oh, it's so gross down here. Or back here, I guess. Alright, let's see. He's gotta be around here. It was, uh, leads back to Chinatown. Alright, alright, alright. Um, can I get on onto the roof? Uh, yeah, that might be a good idea. I like a bird's eye view. Uh, Vantage point of uh, trying to find him. Yeah, that will work. All right, so let's climb up. Let's be careful. All right, let's go over here. Yeah, because he's gonna have to come this way because this is the edge of Chin Chinatown. So yeah, let's see if I can maybe come down. Ooh, oh, I'm so glad I caught that ladder. All right, um, I need to hide somewhere where he's not gonna see me. 
when he comes, when he loops back around, uh, it'll be... Are you kidding me? <laughs> we saw each other at the same time. Hey, bud, I'm back! I need that information. Now, you can give it to me easily, or... We can put up a little fight. Well, you found me! Uh, Alright, I'll take the fight. Oh, ow! Ow, I didn't know you were actually gonna fight me. I was just doing that as a little... A little tease. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, kid. I can throw this fist into your face in a real short amount of time. So you really want to make me mad? Or are you going to keep your mouth shut? Freeze. Stop where you are and put your hands up. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness you're here. Oh, no. Not the copper. You got the cops into this? Oh, no. Come on, kids. We're taking a little ride down to the police department. I am not a kid. I am 20. Oh my gosh. No respect around here. None. <sighs> hmm. Quiet night in the police department, which is probably a good thing considering there's not much crime going on, but oh, I'm tired. I got it a little bit. I'm a little sore. That guy really packed a punch. But, uh, yeah, he didn't get very many hits on me before the, the cops showed up. But, uh, I just really need to talk to him. He has information. Okay, I'm gonna go to the cops and see if they have anything. Um, excuse me, guys. Uh, yeah, I was brought in, uh, for being, like, the victim of, like, assault, I guess you could say. Like, he was, like, there's a guy, and he was punching me because I was trying to ask him a few questions, and he just started beating me up. So, I know it sounds weird, but that's really what happened. So, uh, yeah, you think, uh, you could get me to talk to him, or at least talk to whoever's dealing with him right now? What? Oh, um... Never really dealt with this before. Uh, this is my first day, if you haven't guessed so far. Um, let me see. Uh, Bill, who, who's in charge of the new guy? Oh, Fred? Mm, good guy, good guy. Okay, yes. Um, Fred's got him in the, uh, well, in the interrogation room right now. But they're bringing him around to the, uh, the little meeting area, whatever you call it, uh, uh, oh gosh, I need to learn these things so I can be a real cop someday. Um, yeah, so you just go back, I'm back, and y it's over by the, the, the jail cells. Okay, thank you, sir, and don't worry, you'll be a true cop someday. Ah, that guy has no hope. Alright, um, excuse me, ma'am, I am going back into the, the jail area. Uh, am I permitted to go? Sure thing! Just go on back there, hon! Alright, thank you, ma'am. Alright, open up the doors. Alright, close them. Um, hello, sir. I'm just going back into the meeting center uh, area. Thank you. Alright, let's open up this, uh, this door. And, ah, there he is. Okay, whoa, a lot of people are here visiting family and stuff. Uh, excuse me, sir, I just need to talk to this guy right here, which Chevy, that's you already know about. Uh, whoop, kind of hops out of that chair there, let's see, there we go. Alright, hi, you remember me? Yeah, I'm the guy you beat up on the side of the street. Um, okay, H here it is. Please tell me where my parents are, I just, do, do you remember them? It was about a year ago, you met us over by where, the, you know where the school is? Yeah, you met us over by school in, like, the factory area, um, and I was wondering, just, where did you drop my parents off at? That's all I want to know. I don't, I'm not suspecting you for, like, making them go missing or anything. I just want to know, where did you drop them off so that way I can get, like, another lead? Do you, do you have anything? Anderson, rat! Okay. Uh, you got your mom and your dad, rat. Okay, both of them. Uh, picked you up, you, you, you lived in the little white house? Yeah, I remember. Uh, they told me to keep quiet, cause you guys were all, uh, asleep. Um, let's see, yeah. Uh, they, uh, had me, uh, drop them off at the beach. Don't ask me why. I just wanted the money. So yeah, the beach. The beach? In the middle of the night? And it was only like a block away. Why would they have wanted you to take them to the beach? Okay, well, that's all I needed. Thank you. Alright. 
Okay, sir, you can put him back in the back, I guess. Uh, yeah, is everything alright with him? What's he gonna do? Go to jail? Or, well, I mean, he's in jail right now, but is he gonna go to prison? Oh, did no one tell you? Yeah, this guy is a huge thief. He's been the FBI's most wanted for quite a while now. He just pretends to be an Uber driver to get some cash on the side, and, uh, but yeah, he's a real, uh, renowned thief that, uh, attacks, like, real small businesses. He, he's pretty good at it, too, I must say. But yeah, he'll be going to prison for a long time. Nothing to do with you. You actually helped us find him. A thief, eh? <laughs> well, I guess, you're welcome for finding him, but yeah, you're going to prison for a while, bud. Alright, well thank you for letting me meet with him. I just had to figure out where he dropped my parents off about a year ago. I know, long story, but yeah, thanks, uh, thanks dude. Alright, ah, this is good, this is good news. I have another lead as to where my parents are. So the beach. Now that's strange. Why would they have wanted to go to the beach? Because that's just so close. Hmm. Alright, maybe if I can go find some security footage at the beach, then maybe I can like, yeah, I could find the security footage and then figure out what, what happened then. So I need, I need to go to the beach. Alright, tomorrow I'm putting on my swimsuit and let, we're going, I'm going. 